Hey everybody, uh, welcome back for another build, um, and welcome to the new year. Uh, it is now 2023, um, and we're just a couple of builds away from my new um, custom build that I'm working on. Um, but first, we are going to start doing the um, the church, and then do the general uh, store um, and then from there my plan is to go into hopefully get into the third build of the year which is my custom build that I am working on right now um, so there's a couple other projects that I have um, kind of lined up already ready to go but I'm not ready to do those just yet but the focus of today is the church. We are starting the project of the church. Um, and today I'm just going to run through of kind of what I'm thinking of doing with it. And um, not going to really bore everybody with um, the bracing stuff. Um, that is all repetitious stuff like you do with um, most builds or all builds rather. So. Uh, let's jump on over to the bench here and uh, we'll give a quick uh, tutorial run through of what my plans are for this build and then um, we will move right along in this build. Um, so let's jump on over to the, the bench and get this thing started, shall we? All right, here we are. Um, this is Mud Creek Models, in-scale kits of distinction. Um, this is the in-scale version of the church. I uh, just heard Frank say that they've decided that they are going to release this in HO scale. So if you want to do, if you're doing HO scale, jump on over to mudcreekmodels.com and pick up the kit. Because they do now offer this church in HO along with many other kits, from what I understand. Um, so, um, yes, this is the church, um, that I'm going to be doing. I've decided my color scheme, um, after looking up a lot of old church buildings, um, they are most, if not all of them are all white with a black, brown, or light gray roof. So... I wanted to keep my church a two-tone color, so what I will be doing um, is going with titanium white. That's right. Titanium white for the whole church. Um, and then I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go with the rain gray. Rain gray for the only the the window trim and the door trim. That is it. Um that is what I'm doing for those. Um, and everything, all the other trim is white. So everything's white except for the, um, the windows and the door. Those are all going to be rain gray. Um, I believe, I haven't fully decided, but I believe I am going to do, do, um, Uh, I'm going to try something new, um, for the roof. Um, it's a combination of the chalk pastel, which is going to be this. And, um, also I'm going to, um, use the, uh, shadow gray, uh, Vetero stain. On all my roofing here and here uh, for the for both sides rather um, 
I am going to make a change to this kit. See, right up here, it shows that the peaks are standing up. Well, I am going to t do away with that. I'm going to make them as what they should be, where they join each other. Um, so uh, that is what I will be doing. Um, and so that will be, this is going to be a fun kit. Um, it's a straightforward kit for the most part from what it looks like. Um, let's open this up and, and see everything inside. Just to really should give you an idea of how much is in this kit. Um, and so there are our instructions for the church. There is fr front and back. There is two pages. Um, in this particular kit, if you have kids, this is for you. N please note that this kit contains small parts and can be choking hazards for small children. Please model safely. Thank you for that information, Frank. Um, and he also says that he gives us caution. One of the parts in this kit is taped to a piece of cardboard and is extremely delicate. Handle, uh, yeah, delicate to handle. Um, please be careful. So, I love that about Frank and Natalie. They, when they, there is something specific that they want you to know about. They make it well known. Thank you very much, Frank. Um, moving along. I'm not going into the bracing. Bracing's all simple, but there you have it. It just shows you a gen uh, generalized uh, how how uh, the bracing's going to be. I will most likely follow that diagram um, on this kit, and um, this is just kind of goes over a little bit of you know how the church is going to look as we go through the build. Um, again, when we get down to here, I'm doing away with those standing upright. I'm actually closing them to make a pyramid, uh, roof. Um, and here's a more up close look. Those will be all together. Um, and I will, um, adjust that as necessary. Um, so, but yes, uh... Uh, well, I should say, I take that back. It's three pages. You have this page, the back of that page, and then you have this page, which gets you to the end. The last side of the page is all blank. So you have three pages of instructions um, and whatnot. So what the, the all your small parts are in here. And let's just bring them out so we can see what we got here. Oops. Right off the bat, we have the the one piece that Frank said is the really valuable. This will be the front of the church. Let me just come up. The p that will be this piece right here, the piece that goes right up the front. That's the very fa fragile, delicate piece he was talking about. That. That's this piece right here. And then we have the two, two other walls to go uh, that attach to that. Um, we have the, the, pe the peak, the four pieces that go to the top to that. And then this is the cardstock right here that goes to the, the very top of, of the tower where it sticks out. Um, Wait a minute. There's actually four pieces. I stand corrected. So the tower itself is essentially all one piece of a build, is what it seems. And then we have the two side walls of the main church. And then we have the two walls to the main, the two end caps, the two side walls. So this is all one part. And then this is all another build part. So that looks pretty straightforward to me and very simple. So 
Um, then um, in the rest of the kit here, I'm not going to break them out, but we have the trim and um, the bracing. These, these longer ones right here, these ones are the bracing and then all these smaller ones in here. Like those ones right there. Yeah, those little small ones right there are the tr uh, the facial or trim. And then we have the windows and door. They have, there's only one door to the church and then all the windows. So, um, that is basically it to the kit. Um, that's what I'm planning on doing. So, um, I'm hoping that this one will go together fairly quickly. Um, on this build, uh, I anticipate just giving you some updates. Um, bracing is pretty simple. Uh, I'm just making a modification on here. And the way I'm going to do that, I will show you a little bit later when I do it. But I won't make the modification to it until after the whole piece is done. Because um, as I do it, I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to have to, I'm going to be making, uh, basically, I don't really have to, I don't think. Hmm. You know, I'm going to give that some thought. Um, I'm going to either do it one of two ways. I haven't decided yet. I could either, um, just glue them like that, or... Um, just take, I could, yeah, I could do that. I could glue them together like that. Or I could just, uh, sand, sand them a little bit and give them a 45 on all, all, both of these, these sides. And then all three sides. And then that way, when I do it, they will sit, um, on the building the way I want it. Um, so I haven't really decided how I want to do that just yet. But that's the one modification I am making to this. So with that, um, the next video, um, I'll have just about all the pieces white. I'm not going to show you how I'm hitting everything white. White is white. You don't need to see that. Um, I will get everything painted uh, that I want painted. And then the next video will come back. Um... And uh, I'll just kind of show you how I do assembly um, at that point. Um, and I'll try to go over what I did uh, off camera as well so that we can kind of stay in, in loop together. But this kit is pretty straightforward and I'm not going to bore you with a lot of the easy stuff. So, um, but I will show you kind of how it's coming along and what it looks like and point out what I did and how, how it went um, for the journey of this build. Um, so with that, uh, we're going to call that a wrap for today. So let's just, um, see you back here next time. Uh, um, uh, again, welcome to the new year of 23 and, uh, hope you're all doing well and, um, happy modeling. Keep it real out there, guys. We'll see you next time.